We are now representing 12 women, uh, and we will file the remaining cases, uh, the additional five cases, in due course as we do our due diligence. You should also know that we've also spoken to more than 10 additional women. So more than, more than 22 women that we've spoken to uh, who have reported conduct similar to that laid out in our public filings. That's Houston lawyer Tony Busby. Press conference on Friday afternoon regarding what is now 12 lawsuits either have been filed or will be filed. I think seven officially have been filed. We're waiting for five more, at least 10 additional women involved. All of the lawsuits filed under pseudonyms. There has been nothing directly from any of the women involved. We just have the lawsuits that have been filed by Busby, and Busby's been the main spokesperson. And th that's where I have issues with this. I spoke at length about this on PFTPM on Friday. I'm not a big fan of how Busby is conducting this. That's separate and apart from whether or not Deshaun Watson did anything wrong. Right. That's a different issue, and there's now a legal process that will decide whether and to what extent Watson did something wrong. But there are some some inconsistencies in Busby's words. There are some things that just bother me as a former lawyer regarding whether and to what extent publicity should be sought for things of this nature. He claims this isn't about publicity while he's publicizing it at a press conference, Chris. It just doesn't fly for me. He claims it's not about money when it clearly is about money, when the system itself is about money, and that's okay. The civil justice system is premised on using money to balance the playing field when the powerful have wronged the powerless. That's how it works. It's necessarily about money. So there are aspects of this that bother me as it relates to Busby, the way he's conducted himself on social media, the way he conducted himself on Friday. Those things bother me. But that's separate and apart from whether or not his clients have been wronged in some way by Deshaun Watson. And again, it's up to 10, could be 22. And at a certain point for the average person who hears about this, we talked about this last week. Yeah. I don't know what the magic number is that gets you to say, oh, God, there's just too many. I can't not believe this. Yeah. But somewhere between 1 and 22 for most people I think that you get to the point it. where you say Thank it's you. too many once you get yeah. past 2 i feel like you're like okay that's i don't know that doesn't look right and like mike i agree with you you know busby it, it is it, it bothers me it, it's fanfare that it's like a show it's a publicity thing it does seem a little bit that way but that doesn't take away from the main point here and that th th these things are troubling from Deshaun Watson. I don't know any other way to say it. I mean, it's it's troubling. And I, y yeah, it's one or two. Okay, I don't know. Are they trying to take advantage of a, a rich and powerful guy or that's, you know, vulnerable? But this many? Come on. That's crazy. There's obviously an issue here. There's obviously a pattern of something that Deshaun Watson liked to do in his personal life. And I'm not sitting here trying to judge or anything like that, but this doesn't look good, certainly. And he's got trouble in front of him. And, like, 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 I like how people are still talking, like, oh, oh, there's still teams interested in trading. Yeah, right. Get the hell out of here. Nobody's trading for Deshaun Watson. That's insane. Everybody stop telling me that. I'm sick of hearing that. There's nobody that's going to trade for Deshaun Watson right now. How could you do that? Deshaun Watson, by all accounts, just like we talked a little last week, like Ezekiel Elliott got suspended with, like, way less stuff on there. Deshaun Watson, if I had to just bet right now, I'd go, he's going to get suspended. There's no doubt. I just, I, I would say there's no doubt. And I'm not trying to say guilty or not or anything like that. But the way this looks, this many women, you know, the scene of it, the scene of it all right now, like I just have a hard time thinking that, you know, Deshaun Watson's going to walk away clean from this and, and, and not get suspended and have some other issues to deal with here. And, and the reality is, for the NFL's in-house justice system, as administered under the personal conduct policy, PR drives so much of this. Yeah, and, right. And the, the bigger this story gets, right. and the more it, it, it detracts from free agency, from the new TV deals. My God, how dare you put a story out there, Deshaun, that undermines the victory lap the NFL is taking last week for its new TV deals. I'm telling you, that's going to be a factor in this because there's so much play in the joints 
with the personal conduct policy and the investigative process, they can do whatever they want to do, folks. If they want to suspend him, they can find a way to justify suspending him. If they don't want to suspend him, they can find a way to justify not suspending him. So that's the problem here. He's caught up in the gears of that machine now. Right. We saw it last week. The letter was sent by Lisa Friel to Tony Busby. The investigation has begun. And part of the problem, Chris, even before we get to a suspension, because we've got 12 pieces of litigation that yeah. eventually will be filed, maybe 10 more on top, but possibly a criminal prosecution, although I don't think that's going to go anywhere because it's going to be very difficult to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. I don't think a prosecutor is going to want to touch this case because it ultimately comes down to the words of two people with no objective evidence. Prosecutors shy away from cases like that all the time. But as this all plays itself out over a period of months, if not years, what do you do with Deshaun Watson? If you put him on the commissioner exempt list, you know what that means? It means you got to pay him. Yeah. The Texans have to pay him. If they don't cut him, they got to pay him $10 million this year in salary if he's on the commissioner exempt list for the full season. That's one of the reasons why no one touched Antonio Brown after he was cut by the Patriots in 2019, because the league wouldn't give anyone a straight answer on whether or not they were going to put him on the commissioner exempt list, and nobody wanted to pay Antonio Brown to not play. Right. Well, the Texans have already entered into the contract. That's the great irony here. The safe harbor that Deshaun Watson may have financially this year is to show up if he's on the commissioner exempt list or if he's going to be put on the commissioner exempt list and make his $10 million. Because if you don't show up, you don't get it. If you do show up, you get it, but you don't have to play because you've been put on the commissioner exempt list. It's, it's just one of the many complexities, Chris, yeah. of this situation. And uh, it's getting more complicated all the time. Yes, now, Rusty is. Harden, who represents Deshaun Watson, vowed last week that they will have some sort of a response this week. My response to that is, hey, there's two courts here. There's a court of law and there's a court of public opinion. And even though I don't like Tony Busby's tactics, He's he, killing is it. Winning. Winning. he is winning in yes. the court of public opinion. Right. Not not even close. You're right. He's crushing it. I mean, there, there's no doubt. I mean, no, nobody really even knows anything about the side, the, you know, Deshaun's side of the story. Nobody knows anything TMZ about that. TMZ had a report over the weekend that most people looked at and rolled their eyes at. That, that TMZ says Deshaun Watson found massage therapists on Instagram because his regular therapist was unavailable due to the pandemic. That was the TMZ report. And I don't know whether someone actually thought that would help, but... But the general reaction to that was, oh, really? That's yeah. it? Yeah. That's that's your explanation for this? Yeah, that's 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 not a good enough explanation. That's not going to cut it, really. I mean, it's not. And, you know, one, we talk about, like, the trade thing, right? Like, nobody's going to trade for him right now. And where I really look at it, Mike, and this, I do ask you, like, I, I have a feeling it could go the way you just discussed right there. You know, could we possibly be seeing – such an issue here that it goes down the lines of a few more girls come out, a few more women come out. This thing's, you know, doesn't look good, all of that. And do the Houston Texans cut him? And does the NFL put him on the NFL exempt list to where nobody can sign him or do anything until some of this stuff gets figured out? I mean, I have a feel that's the, that to me. And again, we don't know, and I'm not trying to presume anybody guilty or anything like that, but just sitting here, with the guy and you and me, and we've been following football our whole lives and doing that, that to me seems the road we're going on right now. If you made me bet where we're going, that's where I think we're going. Well, I don't know where we're going, but it's amazing in less than a week where we've come. Yeah. And it, and, and uh, it just shows you the craziest, most unpredictable things can happen like that. It can come up like that. I said last week, Chris, if you made a list, if you had asked me last week to make a list of the five players least likely, in my opinion, to be involved in something like this, Watson would have been on it. Yes, yeah, he would have been on it. Right, right. That's what makes it even more stunning. Yep. So, uh, one more, one more quick little piece of sound from Tony Busby because this is an important issue that we've talked about from time to time, and Busby himself brought it up on Friday as it relates to this suggestion that somehow the Texans were involved in what's happened with Deshaun Watson. Here's Busby. And I need to dispel some silly rumors. Yes, I live on River Oaks Boulevard, and I live near the McNair family. I don't know the McNair family. I, I, I wouldn't recognize Cal or Hal or whatever his name is if I saw him on the street. This case has nothing to do with the Texans. 
has nothing to do with free agency, the timing. I don't know anything about that silliness, and I don't, frankly don't care about it. Texans are not a team that I follow. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know Tony Busby well enough to know that his tell is that when he takes his glasses off, he's lying. But when you say, I don't know who Cal or Hal or whatever his name is, and you're the most prominent lawyer or one of the most prominent lawyers in Houston, you don't know that Cal McNair – is the owner of the local football team when you ran for mayor and needed his support and live in the same neighborhood and you don't know if his name is Cal or Hal, that's somebody who's trying too hard to throw dirt on something, Chris, in my opinion. Yeah, I hear you there, Mike. I, I mean, I, I have a hard time maybe buying that as well. But, I mean, just, just you know, watching that comment organically, you know, that, that night, whatever, was that Friday night? You know, I, 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 do, I do look at him right now and go – Okay, I don't think he's doing this, you know, with in, in cahoots with the Houston Texans. I, I don't. I, I have a hard time believing that. Um, so we'll, let me give you my theory, yeah, though. Let me give you my theory let because me... th- th- there's there's different levels and types of cahoots. Right. This is something I thought of last night, and I haven't said this, and I haven't written it, but but it the, the collusion doesn't mean that the Texans wanted this to happen or that the Texans went to Tony Busby and said, Hey, you'll never guess what we're hearing from some of our people. You may want to look into this. Maybe right. this is a way we can take this guy down right. because he's trying to tell us how to run our business. This can be as simple as Tony Busby has a client who comes to him with a complaint that Tony Busby believes is credible. And Tony Busby is ready to go forward with a lawsuit. Right. But because he's very sensitive and savvy about the dynamics of the market in which he operates, he decides that it's prudent to give the Texans a heads up and make sure that he has either their blessing or that they don't tell him, don't do it. Because if they tell him not to do it and he decides, I'd rather have a relationship there, I refer the case to someone else, that stuff happens all time the time there are broader dynamics at play for a prominent lawyer in a city that could cause him to decide this isn't the right case for me to take on right. because it could mess up something right. else and it's that's it's that simple of an item yeah of collusion yeah just a heads up hey texans i'm gonna be doing this i just need to know whether or not you have a problem with it and they very well may have said oh, we don't have a problem with it this guy's making our, making our life hell Hey, he's got a little issue he's going to have to deal with. Well, that's fine. You got a client thinks he did something wrong. That's his problem, not ours. Yeah, I hear you, So Mike. This, it doesn't have to be an elaborate conspiracy. Right. It can be something that simple. Yeah, I, I Mike, I, I mean, I, I hear you that way. And, you know, may, maybe there is. I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. I really don't. I could see that certainly being an avenue that Busby would take when he first gets this information and all of that. Uh, there's no doubt. But, man, it's dicey. And all I could say is it doesn't look good for Deshaun Watson and I would say him playing in 2021 is in severe trouble right now with the way it looks here sitting in March. All right. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.